Um, talking about the difference between Hell, Bottomless Pit, and Lake of Fire, and all of those places. So go ahead and explain a little bit more of what all that means, because um, you talked about that in the previous question. Yes. Okay, back to my drawing, and uh, I'm sorry it's uh, a little faint on your screens, but let me just uh, give you the markers. Uh, in Genesis, we have paradise, the Garden of Eden, on earth. Uh, so then we find at the cross, Jesus tells the thief next to him, today you're going to be with me in paradise. And so after the crucifixion, when Jesus died, he took the thief with him to the place described in Luke 16, which is Abraham's bosom, this is the happy side, and the place of torment, the unhappy side. And Jesus went there because after he was crucified, he went down and took the, the thief that believed on the cross next to him down here to the place where everybody that died went to. Now, you got to understand, the Bible says that everybody that's ever lived is still on earth uh, up until this point, and the, the redeemed those that believe, those who sought the Lord, are here in the happy side. Abraham is there. Uh, Lazarus goes there in Luke 16. And they see the lost on the other side in torment. Then it says Jesus went, Peter tells us, Jesus went from paradise and this place of uh, confinement with the great gulf. Remember, there's a great gulf fix between where the happy side and the unhappy. He goes from there and it says he preaches to the angels that are in captivity. Boy, that's curious. Jude and 2 Peter tell us about these angels that are chained in this place called Tartarus, or all the way through the Old Testament, it's called the pit. And in Revelation, it's called the bottomless pit. Now, do you remember in Revelation chapter 9, God opens the pit and lets this demon army, like locust horsemen, out of the pit for five months. But that pit is on earth. The bottomless pit, Tartarus, the place of Abraham's bosom, the place where the lost are in kind of the waiting room to hell, Jesus said it's all here on earth. So see, this is the earth. This is the empty tomb. This is the cross. This was Eden's paradise. So it looks like Eden, after the fall into sin, became this place of paradise down here. Then, after the cross, Jesus takes this paradise and has it in heaven. And that's what Revelation 3 talks about, you know, uh, when the churches, if you overcome, which is code for a believer, you will enter paradise, which is what we describe heaven as. Now, you notice over here, there's this. This is the lake of fire. Nobody is in there yet. The first occupants will be the false prophet and the beast. So the false prophet and the beast in Revelation 19 at the Armageddon time are thrown into the lake of fire alive. And in the 20th chapter of Revelation, Satan is chained and put into this bottomless pit. And then later in the 20th chapter of Revelation, Satan is the first new occupant. He is thrown into the lake of fire where it says the false prophet and the beast already are. This is Revelation 20 from 7 to 11, uh, all the way to 15. And so basically the lake of fire is just out there somewhere in the universe. You can see it from heaven. Isaiah 66 tells us that. It says the people in heaven can see the lake of fire. And you say, oh, that doesn't sound very positive. Well, the lake of fire is based on the justice 
and the holiness and the wrath of God. Those are all attributes of God. And because God loves so much that he sent Jesus to die on the cross, his justice, holiness, and wrath means that those that reject Christ need to go to the lake of fire. So, to give the, the difference, um, in the Bible, this place is called Hades or the grave. This is the place of um, saints, you know, Abraham's bosom, Luke 16, Jesus talked about it, and pagan suffering fire. Then there's this place where angel rebels are, the, the part of the angels that rebelled against God that are so bad, if God let them out, which he does once, they kill a third of all humans. They're, they're super deadly angels. So they're usually locked up in this pit. And in the Old Testament, it's called the pit. New Testament, bottomless pit. Remember all the demons? Whenever Jesus was doing miracles, the demons would go, don't send us to the pit. They know it's there. And it's on earth. And it's a spiritual maximum security. But the bottom half of it, Peter actually names as Tartarus, which is the, the ultimate maximum security. So the spiritual realms, grave Hades, that's the abode of the dead, the pit, Tartarus, bottomless pit, both on earth, lake of fire, not on earth, out there somewhere, heaven, earth. So that's the differentiation. And so what happens here, by the way, I'll finish. Jesus uh, was crucified. He dies, and it says that he was in the grave for three days and three nights. What, what's he doing? Well, he takes the thief with him. He picks up the redeemed. He goes by proclaiming that he won, that, that he paid the price of sin. He preaches declares the gospel here, and then he takes all of those saints to heaven with him. That's what Ephesians 4 talks about. He led captivity captive, and that's what Matthew uh, 8 through 10, Jesus said, and it's, I know you've already heard all this in the class, but it's so exciting, I have to tell you. When we get to heaven, us, the church, Jesus said that we'll sit down at a banquet where Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are already there. How did they get there? Jesus picked them up after the cross, and when he rose on the third day and ascended back to his father, remember he told Mary, don't touch me, I haven't yet ascended to my father, he was taking all those saints with him to heaven. And... Uh, that's where now the paradise of God is. This is what we would call our Father's house, uh, John 14. And they, all the redeemed, don't have their resurrection bodies yet, which we cover uh, in Revelation 20. So, Daniel, I'm going way wider than your question. What else do you have on that? Uh, no, that's a, a good explaining of what everything is, where it all leads. Uh, I think that there's so much confusion around that that we just kind of we know they're separate, but we have no idea where or how. Um, so 